Hello. Okay, so <clears throat> tacos. Got my ground bison out. I've just chopped up a little onion and a little pepper from my garden. I'm gonna start off with that. I'm gonna put a little oil in my pan. It's been heating behind me. And um, yeah, that's it. And everything else will just kind of come together. Easy peasy. You guys know how to ground beef, right? <laughs> really want to watch all this. Uh, let's see, onions, my little green peppers. You know, I, I plant all these peppers and then they grow and I don't, I'm not real sure what they're all called, but they're so cute. And I don't even know how hot each one is. That's not very hot at all. Okay, anyway. Um, let's go. So got a little onion going on. Little pepper that's not even very hot at all. So you know what? I think I'm going to add a little bit of um, a jalapeno. I'll be right back. Okay, just adding a little chopped jalapeno. Alright, I'm going to add my ground bison. beef out there. I'm going to add uh, some salt and uh, some freshly cracked black pepper. And then I'm going to add my taco seasoning. I make up my own. It's, you know, taco seasoning. It's just more, um, you know, I like to make my own. Up. So if, if you want, I'll probably do a a recipe card on that taco seasoning. Um, I make a lot of my own seasonings up. Uh, my chicken, I got great chicken. I know you guys, if, if, you, if you're fans and you've watched my show before, you've seen me use my chicken on everything. That chicken spice is. So anyway, let's cook up the ground beef and then, you know, we'll come back and, um, you know, we'll make a little pico together from, you know, stuff from the garden and uh, yeah. Okay, welcome back. So I have, and now I just want to share this with you, the ground taco meat. You know, um, if you really want to make it rich with flavor, you just let it sit on simmer. You add a little water and just let it sit and sit and sit. That's where the real flavor is going to get. You know, um, when you ground your beef, it tastes best when it's really ground. You know what I mean? It's not, um, don't just take the pink out. Anyway, let's make some pico de gallo. I have chopped up some fresh tomatoes from my garden, some onions, some cilantro. Pico is very simple. It's those three things with a little salt, pepper, and lime, and then your heat. So I'm going to add some jalapeno. Uh, this is my, there we go. My lime juice. Uh, let me cut up a little chopped jalapeno. My friend Kelly is here. She went next door to drop off something for my neighbor. Um, and Kelly and I, um, so she's gonna walk back in any minute now. Anyway, she's my, my bestie. She doesn't even watch my videos. I asked her, I'm like, you know, I'm, I mention you quite often and, and you don't even, she, she doesn't even know. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, let's add a little chopped jalapeno and, um, here we go, some salt, some pepper. 
Okay, more lime juice. And then you want to just let it sit and do its happy little thing. But see how beautiful? I love the colors of food. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, Kelly. Ooh, that is beautiful. See, Kelly's back. <laughs> she does exist. I, I, talk, I was just telling them. I talk about Kelly all the time. She's, she doesn't. <laughs> She doesn't even watch this stuff, so she has no idea. Sometimes. Yeah, right. She's fine. Anyway, okay, so we're going to let that sit, and the flavors will marry and get all yummy. The taco meat is getting all lovely and marrying. I've got my low-carb tortillas that I'm going to put a little oil in the pan and just um, kind of pan fry them up a little and they are going to be delicious. Uh, if you want to add cheese and, and all of those other things, do it. I, I don't really think that, you know, it, it needs it. The other thing I do like to do though, and I'll share this with you, is um, I make a little something. It's, it's, you take sour cream and you add a little cumin and some freshly squeezed lime juice and a little salt and you mix that together and it just makes your sour cream better. So, and then of course, my own hot sauce. So I guess you're just gonna have to get some of my hot sauce. <laughs> anyway, or you can use your own, but mine is better. So, we'll be back. Hey, okay, I just wanted to share this with you. This is kind of cool. I take, always take a few like um, slices of fresh jalapeno and I just fry them in a little oil. And um, it's just nice on top of your, uh, if you made some guacamole or if you, you know, whatever, um, your ground beef. If, and then just put them in the, your tacos. It's nice. All right. So um, the other thing I wanted to do before I do my uh, tortillas is I wanted to share with you the sour cream that I make. Uh, let's put you over there. All right. So I use just regular light sour cream. Uh, take some of that and some lime juice and my, look over there, find my cumin. Uh, I'll be right back. Yep. Hello. <laughs> Still there? I'm torn. <laughs> okay. Cumin. A little pepper, a little salt, maybe a touch more salt because I like things salty. All right, start up. That's it. That takes your cumin when you're doing your Mexican dishes to um, your cumin, your sour cream to another level. Yummy level, right? That's, that makes people like, you know, eat your stuff and they're like, oh man, why'd you do that sour cream? That's really yummy. Mm. Yum. Yum. All right. Done. My little pico. Done. My, where's my ground beef? Oh. My beautiful ground taco meat. My ground bison. See, I'm just going to put a little of my fried jalapeno on top. Maybe one more, right? Okay. Picture perfect. And, um, yeah, the last thing I need to do is just um, take, put a little oil and just on both sides pan fry my uh, tortillas. You don't have to do that. You can stick them in the oven and warm them up, whatever you want, but I really like the way they turn out like that because I like the little the brown, the dark brown little burn marks on them and stuff. I like that. So anyway, that's it. 